Hey you guys, this is Mr. Millings and today we're going to learn about nuclear symbols. So hold on tight, here we go. What are nuclear symbols people? Well it says right here that nuclear symbols are used to designate a specific isotope of an element. And we're going to talk about isotopes in a different video. But for now, just understand that we use nuclear symbols when we want to designate or, or, uh, or specify a specific type of isotope. We're going to use a nuclear symbol and the nuclear symbol contains three parts. It contains the element symbol or the chemical symbol, the atomic number of that element and the mass number of the specific isotope for that element. So let's take a look at an example right here. Here we have the nuclear symbol of uh, one specific isotope of hydrogen. So we have the chemical symbol right here. That's the chemical symbol for hydrogen. And then in the bottom left hand corner right here, we have this number right here. This is going to be your atomic number, right? This is the number of protons that are in the nucleus and the number of electrons that are outside of the nucleus. So right here, this number right here tells you what the element is. It's number one on the periodic table. It's the atomic number for hydrogen. And then in the top left hand corner, we're gonna have the mass number. The mass number, remember, is going to be the number of protons plus the number of neutrons, and that's gonna give you your mass number. All right, so if we think about this, if this number right here is the number of protons, and this number right here is the mass number, which is the number of protons plus neutrons in the nucleus, then how do we figure out the number of just neutrons? Go ahead and pause this video and maybe think about that for a second. Once again, if this is the number of protons in the nucleus, and this is the number of protons and neutrons inside the nucleus, then how do we get just the number of neutrons? Well, we're going to take the mass number minus the atomic number and that will give us the number of neutrons. I'll say it again. To get the number of neutrons you take the mass number minus the atomic number and that will give you the number of neutrons. So if we have a nuclear symbol like this we can quite easily figure out the number of protons, the number of electrons, and the number of neutrons that are in that isotope. So let's take a look at a few examples. Here we have a nuclear symbol for carbon or a specific isotope of carbon. We're asked to figure out how many protons there are. Well, if we take a look, the atomic number is going to be the number of protons that are in that nucleus. So there's going to be six protons here. This is also the number of electrons that are in the electron cloud. So there's six electrons. And then we have to figure out the number of neutrons. So to get the number of neutrons, we take the mass number, which is 14, minus 6, and we end up with 8. So this isotope of carbon has got 6 protons in its nucleus, 8 neutrons in its nucleus, and 6 electrons outside of its nucleus. What about this isotope of carbon right here? Well, once again, its atomic number is 6, so that means it has 6 protons in its nucleus, 6 electrons outside its nucleus, and the mass number minus the atomic number is going to give us 7. So there's 7 neutrons inside of its nucleus. Let's look at this one right here. Uh, once again, the atomic number is 6, so there's 6 protons inside of the nucleus, there's 6 electrons outside of the nucleus, and the mass number is 12 minus the atomic number, which is 6, and we end up with 6 neutrons inside the nucleus. Let's look at this isotope of hydrogen. Its atomic number is 1, so there's 1 proton inside the nucleus, 1 electron outside the nucleus, and if we take the mass number 3 minus the atomic number 1, we will end up with two neutrons inside of the nucleus. So these are, uh, or this is a, a nuclear symbol and it allows us to figure out exactly how many protons, neutrons, and electrons there are in a given isotope for, a, a, for a, a, a given element. All right, so let's take a look at a few more examples here. At this point in the video, I recommend that you pause the video. I recommend that you pause the video and try to work on these yourself, okay? Try to figure these out right here. Try to figure out the number of protons, the number of neutrons, the number of electrons, the element name, and the nuclear symbol for each one of these, given uh, the information in each little, little row here. So let's jump right in here. We have a nuclear symbol here. It's some sort of isotope of aluminum, right? So how many protons are here? There's 13, the atomic number is 13, which means it also has 13 electrons. And how do we get the number of neutrons? We take the mass number minus the atomic number. So it's 27 minus 13 is gonna be 14 neutrons in its nucleus. And what will the name of this be? Well, this is going to be aluminum dash 27, the mass of the, the mass number of the isotope comes after the little dash. So we have aluminum 27 is the, 
the name of this uh, this isotope of aluminum. Let's take a look at this one right here. And this one right here, we have a uh, we have an an isotope of of potassium right here. It looks like its atomic number is 19, so it's going to have 19 protons. 19 electrons and if we take the mass number minus the atomic number we'll end up with 21 neutrons inside of its nucleus and what is the name of this element or isotope here this is going to be potassium dash 40 right the mass number is 40 so this is uh, one specific isotope of potassium potassium 40 has a mass of 40 right the number of protons plus the number of neutrons is 40 let's take a look at this one what is the name of this one going to be here well it looks like this is going to be AU which is gold dash 198 so gold 198 how many protons does it have it has 79 protons and it also has 79 electrons and then how do you figure out the number of neutrons here well you take the mass number minus the atomic number and when you take 198 minus 79, I believe you end up with 119, right? 119 neutrons inside of its nucleus, a pretty big nucleus. It's got 79 protons and 119 neutrons crammed in there. All right, what about this one? We now have to write the nuclear symbol. Well, it says right here it's hydrogen, so we'll go ahead and write an H here. It looks like the total mass of the atom is right here, so it's a 3. The mass number is 3, and because it's hydrogen, Go to your periodic table of elements and look up hydrogen and you'll see its atomic number is 1. So there's your nuclear symbol for this, uh, this element right here, or this isotope right here. So how many protons does it have? It's got one proton, it's got one electron. And to figure out the number of neutrons, simply take 3 minus 1, the mass number minus the atomic number, and you'll end up with 2. Let's take a look at this one, 20 protons. So what element on the periodic table has got 20 protons? Or in other words, what element has an atomic number of 20? That is going to be calcium, right? It's got to be calcium. So we'll go ahead and write the element symbol for your chemical symbol for calcium. It's got 20 protons. So the 20 is the atomic number that will go in the bottom left-hand corner. And if we take the protons plus the neutrons, that will give us the total mass of this, this isotope here, which is going to be 41, right? 41. Okay, so there's our nuclear symbol. What's the name of this element going to be? It's going to be calcium-41, dash it looks like. All right, one of the isotopes of calcium right here, calcium-41. And last, how many electrons does it have? It's going to have the same number as it does protons, so we've got 20 right here. What about this one right here? We have sodium-11. I'm sorry, not sodium-11, but we have a nuclear symbol right here, and this is all it's given, right? So... Let's see here. We know this is going to be sodium because it's Na. But we don't know its total mass, right? But we do know its atomic number, right? And the atomic number here is the number of protons and it is also the number of electrons. Okay, so last, we have to figure out what the mass number is. The mass number is always the number of protons plus the number of neutrons. So 11 plus 13 is going to be 24. So your chemical symbol should, or your nuclear symbol should look like this. What about this one right here, barium-139? So we have barium. It has a mass of 139. And so what we now have to do is turn to a periodic table and figure out what the element symbol or chemical symbol, I'm sorry, what the atomic number of barium is, the number, uh, uh, the atomic number for barium. So let's look at that. All right, so it looks like the atomic number of barium, if you look on a periodic table, is going to be 56. So there's our nuclear symbol, right? Well, how many protons does this isotope of barium have? It looks like it's going to have 56 protons and 56 electrons. And how do we get the number of neutrons? Well, we're going to have to take 139 minus 56. And it looks like we end up with 83. 139 minus 56 is one or is 83. So this isotope of barium's got 56 protons in its nucleus. It has 83 neutrons inside its nucleus, and it has 56 electrons inside its nucleus. Another fairly large atom. All right, so those are nuclear uh, symbols in a nutshell. That's how you figure out how many protons, neutrons, and electrons 
are, um, are in an atom based on its nuclear symbol. And if you like what you see here, go ahead and click that little bomb in the bottom right hand corner and feel free to leave any comments or questions in the uh, comments section down below. And I hope you found this helpful.